Hello guys, how are you? My name is Ahmad Cheta. I am uh, the OT for Structures 2, for the Superstructure part. And today I will record a video to explain a little bit about the load basis, which is required in Assessment 1, part A. And also there will be a, a part of uh, Assessment 1, part B, about uh, the load basis. So hopefully you can understand or get what I want to to mention today. So now I will share my screen and I will stop the video. So today we are talking about the load benches. And we have two types of loads, which we need load buses. So we'll start with the load. Load buses. We have two types of loads. So we have gravitational loads and lateral loads. Gravitational loads, which are vertical, so we have vertical loads, so lateral loads, which are horizontal. Okay. So for the gravitational, we'll start with the gravitational loads, which includes dead loads and life loads. Okay. So we need to know the load bus of the gravitational load from roof or slab on up to soil or the ground. So this is what is required by the load bus. Okay, so this is what I will explain today in this video. So I will start with the load bus of the gravitational load. First of all, I need to start a new page here. Okay. So for example, if we have, this is a symbol, symbol, of element with some beams. You see this our selection. Okay, and here's some column, one column here, one column here, and so on. So in this system, we have roof or slab, we have beams, and we have columns. We have foundation or footing, and we have underneath is the soil. So if there is a loot, let's say a, person, a human loot or life loot, so this load will be on the slab or on the roof. Then from the slab or the roof, will go to the beam. So from the slab to beams first. Then the beams will transfer this load to the columns in this direction. So after beams, there will be columns. Then the column will transfer this load to the foundation so from column to foundation and then the, the footing will transfer this load to the soil so the final step is the soil so the load bus in this case will be from slab to beams to columns to foundation to soil and this is what we mean by load bus or the gravitational 
load path. So the gravitational load path will be from slab to beams, then to columns, then to foundation, then to soil. This for the gravitational or vertical load path. Okay, so this is what you need to do in the assessment one, but uh, sorry, assessment two, part A. And I will briefly explain this on this example. For example, if this if we have this building here or this skeleton here, so what you need to do is if we have a seating or a roof on this uh, this uh, slab or this uh, hole or this sorry like warehouse. So let's say this is a warehouse and it's covered with uh, some roof. So from the roof sheeting, the roof sheeting will transfer this to this Berlin. So we have here, let's say for this side, we have this side is covered with this blue roof sheeting. So we have roof sheeting. Then this roof sheeting will transfer the load to Berlin's. Then the Berlin's will transfer the load to these green ones, which are the rafters or beams. Then the beams will transfer the load to the columns in orange. Then after, underneath the columns, we will have some footings here. Let's say this is our footings here. Then soil. So we need to show on annotate this uh, fake picture to show the load best. So let's say we start on the other side here. So the roof load or the roof sheeting load will go to firstly to the Berlin in this direction. Then the Berlin's will transfer the load in this direction to the rafters. So the rafters here. Then the rafter will transfer the load in this direction. In this direction. So in this direction, this direction to column. Then the column. Sorry. Then the column will transfer this load to the footing. So here, if we say, so we have the load. Then the column will transfer the loads vertically to the foundation or the footing. Underneath the column. Then the foundation will transfer the load to the soil. So the load bus, the vertical load bus or gravitational load bus here will be from roof sheeting to Berlin's to rafters to columns then from columns to foundations then soil so this is all about the gravitational load bath and here is the element which transfers the loads are or the load transfer from roof sheeting to Berlin's to rafters to columns to foundations and finally the soil. Okay, this is for the gravitational load bus. If we want to also explain the lateral load bus.
let's just start a new page here. Well, if you want to also explain the lateral load best, so for the lateral load best, the lateral load comes from, let's say, wind loads and earthquakes loads. This is the main loads we have in lateral. Loads and this is lateral loads are in the horizontal direction. So we need also to annotate our structure with the lateral load bus. So let's say we have same simple building here. But for this simple building, this if it is a steel structure, so we might have uh like berlins, sorry, we might have bracing system for the lateral load bus. So we have like, this is the main frame and we have in red the bracing system. Okay, so for the lateral load bus, we have two directions of the load bus. We have forces in this direction. And forces in this direction. So the purple one we can call it is, it is in lane lateral load. And the green ones are out of the lane, lateral loads. Okay, for the in plane lateral load, let's draw it separately here. So this is our frame, and this is the loads here in plane. So for the in plane, the frame itself, the black frame, can resist this force. So let's say the force will be transferred like that. Okay. So then from the rafter to column, then underneath here, we have the foundation or the footing. So the load base will be from rafter to column to foundation to soil. Okay, this for in plane. The important one is out of play. Okay, so here for out of plane, We have this is the framing system we have in black, and then we have in red the bracing. So 
the red is the bracing tester. So we have wall bracing or side bracing. And we have on top is roof bracing or top bracing. So we have, this is our frame. And this is our force in green. So how this out of plane wind or out of plane lateral loads are transferred. So here, the frame, the black, the frame or the column, the column and rafter cannot resist this forces. And what is resisting this force? The bracing system. So the bracing system here is resisting the lateral loads. So here, the force will be transferred through this element here, like that, as compression. And the other one will be, let's say, tension. Then this bracing will transfer the loads to the beams here, and then the beams will transfer the load to the columns. Then the column will transfer the load to the foundation. Then the foundation will transfer the load to the soil. Okay. For also the side bracing will be similar approach. So we will have here a compression force here and a tension force on the other one. And these forces will be transferred to the column. And then the column will transfer the loads to the foundation. And then the foundation will transfer the load to the soil underneath. Okay, so for out of plane, the load will be transferred from the bracing system to the rafter, to the column, to the foundation, and then finally to the soil. Okay, and this is uh, all for the lateral uh, load bath and and the vertical or gravitational load bath. And thank you for listening, and hope you can uh, benefit from this video. Thank you.